Have you ever wondered how that golden sunflower oil in your kitchen makes its journey from a tiny seed all the way to a sealed bottle on the shelf? Behind every drop of oil there is a fascinating industrial process happening deep inside powerful factories where science, machinery and human precision come together to create purity in its finest form. In today's video we will take you inside a real sunflower oil factory and show you step by step how this natural treasure is extracted, refined, and packed. So stay with us till the end because what you're about to see is more than a process, it's an entire story told in oil. Step 1. Receiving and cleaning the sunflower seeds. The journey of sunflower oil begins the moment thousands of harvested sunflower seeds arrive at the factory in large trucks. These seeds are offloaded at the receiving section where a dedicated quality control team examines them carefully, checking for any impurities like dust, stones, fungus or damaged seeds. From here the seeds move on large conveyor belts into high-tech cleaning machines that blow off light particles with air pressure and filter out any unwanted debris using multiple sieves and layers of screening. Powerful vacuums remove anything that doesn't belong while the seeds continue their movement along the mechanical rhythm of the factory floor. As they travel forward you can actually see the transformation, from raw farm material to sparkling clean golden seeds ready for their next stage, this is the first step in converting nature into nutrition. Step 2. Dehulling, removing shells. Once the seeds are cleaned they are sent to dehulling machines which are designed to remove the outer shell from each sunflower seed. The real oil lives inside the kernel which is wrapped in a hard outer cover. If not removed this shell would interfere with oil extraction and lower the quality. These industrial dehullers use high-speed rotating drums to crack open the shells, and then suction systems pull away the lighter husks leaving behind clean kernels. You can hear a consistent crackling sound as thousands of seeds are processed every minute. This phase is all about separating what's useful from what's waste and it happens with precision and speed that only machines can manage. Now the clean oil-rich kernels are ready to be heated and softened before extraction. Step 3. Conditioning and heating the seeds. Conditioning is the stage where the sunflower seed kernels are slightly moistened and gently heated in order to prepare them for oil extraction, without this step the kernels would be too dry and would not release oil efficiently. Inside large industrial roasters the kernels are treated with controlled temperature and moisture levels. The factory fills with a rich roasted aroma that's hard to ignore as the seeds start to unlock their oil from deep within. Every roaster is equipped with precise thermal control panels which make sure that nothing overheats or burns. This stage is not just about softening but about activating the natural oils hidden inside each seed and making them flow easily when pressed. Step 4. Oil Extraction Pressing Process now we reach the heart of the factory where the real magic happens. The conditioned kernels are pushed into large mechanical screw presses that crush them under intense pressure. Thick golden oil begins to pour out from the seeds as the machines rotate powerfully. On one side you have the dry cake residue and on the other a rich stream of sunflower oil flowing into steel pipes and collection tanks. The oil comes out warm and aromatic, almost like a golden waterfall forming inside the factory. The sound of the machinery combined with the flowing oil creates a rhythmic industrial symphony that showcases how technology and agriculture meet in motion. Every drop of oil that falls is the result of precision, pressure, and perfect timing. Step 5 oil filtration and refining. The freshly extracted oil is still not ready for use, because it contains small particles, impurities, and fiber residues from the seeds, so the next step is filtration. The oil is pumped through a series of stainless steel filters that catch even the tiniest contaminants. This process transforms the oil from murky to clear golden. It's amazing to watch as the oil becomes brighter with each filter stage. After filtration it is transferred to storage tanks with sealed oxygen controls and cooling systems to preserve freshness. Every tank is monitored by technicians using digital sensors to ensure stability. This phase is crucial because it defines the purity and shelf life of the oil before it goes to the final refining stages. Step 6. Degumming, Neutralizing, Bleaching. Now comes the advanced chemical refining stage where the oil undergoes processes to remove unwanted natural elements like gums, free fatty acids, and color pigments. First is degumming where phospholipids are removed using water or acid-based treatment. Next is neutralization where any remaining acids are neutralized to improve the taste and quality of the oil. And finally the bleaching stage where natural clay or carbon is used to eliminate any remaining colors or odors. After these three treatments the oil becomes light golden in color, 
odorless and stable for cooking, this stage happens in massive reactors with digital pressure and heat controls, every second is monitored and logged, every technician wears safety gear because this part of the factory is like a lab and a kitchen at the same time. Step 7. Packaging the oil. After refining, the oil is now ready to be packed and shipped to homes and markets around the world. In the packaging section, high-speed automated bottling lines fill plastic or glass bottles with the pure golden oil. Each bottle passes under a filling nozzle, then moves to capping stations where it is sealed tightly. Labeling machines attach brand labels with details like batch number, expiry date, nutrition facts and barcode. The sound of hundreds of bottles moving in sync is almost musical. Cameras and sensors scan every bottle for quality control. Defective ones are automatically removed. In just minutes thousands of bottles are filled, sealed and boxed, each one a tiny ambassador of the massive process that produced it. Final storage and distribution. Once packaged, the sunflower oil bottles are moved to climate-controlled warehouses where temperature and humidity are managed precisely. This helps extend the shelf life and preserve freshness until the oil reaches the customer. From here it is loaded onto trucks, shipped to supermarkets, exported overseas or sold to restaurants and cooking businesses. Behind each bottle lies a story of machines and people, of science and nature, of farms and factories working together in harmony. When someone picks up a bottle from the store and pours it into their pan they are using a product that was touched by technology at every step yet still holds the essence of the sunflower itself, that is the beauty of industrial food production, it turns simplicity into perfection.